Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn something very interesting and useful and that is how can you monitor your APIs with SOAP UI. So we will see how to set up API monitors and then we will see how to monitor your APIs in SOAP UI. So let's get started and step number one will be let me open my SOAP UI. So I will just open the SOAP UI and let's just wait for this SOAP UI to be up. So here we have the SOAP UI up. I will just close this starter page and here you can see we have these projects that we have already been creating in our earlier sessions. So let me go back to my notes and even before starting our step one we should know exactly what is API monitoring and why we should do it. So API monitoring is checking your APIs at regular intervals for availability, correctness and performance. So the process of API monitoring is checking your APIs at regular intervals and this can be very important in case of production APIs. So you want to be sure that your APIs are always available and they are functioning properly and they are also fetching the response in a specific time or under a specific time. So all these checks becomes very important if your APIs are in production and they are live and a lot of customers depend on the availability of your APIs. So that is why you want to create API monitors. So I have opened my SOAP UI. Now let me go to my REST project that we have created in our earlier sessions and let me go to any test case. So let me go to this assertion test case which has two APIs. So one is the SOAP API and then we have a REST API here. So if I take you to the SOAP API, it is an API where we give the country code and it gives us the country currency. So in case of IN which is the country code for India, I am getting the result as INR and the currency name as rupees. And similarly we have a REST APIs and here if I run this it gives me the information about a country so if I am giving Taiwan and in the response I am getting all the details about Taiwan. So these are the two APIs and you can see we have already added assertions here in both of these APIs in our earlier sessions. So here now we will create monitor for this APIs. So what you can do is you can go to your project and then if you go down you have an option to monitor so you can see this is an option to monitor APIs also you can do a right click on the project and again you will find option to monitor APIs here so click here and you will get a window for this API monitoring with alert site so alert site is again a application by smart beer that is used to create monitors and it can create monitors for APIs and many other applications but here in SOAP UI we have a monitor for APIs and you can see here for SOAP UI users you can create three API monitors for free and then if you want more you can have a paid plan. So here we have a very simple three step process we have to connect to alert site we have to add our API test cases and then we can start monitoring the APIs for availability, correctness and performance. So here I will go to this getting started tab and here you can you will get this window where you can create an account so you can give any email a password confirm password and click on create account and I already have an account so I will go down and select I already have an account and I will log into my account. So I have logged in with automation.devops at gmail.com and I will add my password and click on connect. So this will connect to alert site and let me write down the steps as well. So you have to right click on project and select monitor APIs. Step number two is connect to alert site so you will either have to sign up if you are creating a new account or if you already have created you can do sign in and now step 3 is create monitors so let us go back to our soap ui and now i have connected so you will have to go to this button add monitors and here you can 
select your project and then your test suite and then your test case so I am selecting the assertions test case which is this one and you can give any name of the monitor so I am saying this is API monitor underscore 2 you can give some uh, logical names for example you are doing some monitoring for a production API which is fetching user details or uh, you can give name accordingly and then here you have option to test every 60 minutes or every 120 minutes now in the free account we have only these two options but if you have paid account you can have other options as well so as of now we will select 60 minutes and if you want to add more monitors you can click on add another but we are done so I will select done here and now you can go to your API status from this particular tab so go here uh, this API monitor one is something I had already created earlier and I believe it will take some time for your monitor to be reflected here now once your monitor is reflected here you can see here you have you will have all your monitors the monitor name the status so the api monitor one that i had created earlier is in status error and we will see what is the error and you can see the last check time and the recent error is a script assertion error now here you will see two links first link is how do i monitor the apis so if you click how do i monitor more apis it will take you to the smart beer web page where they have this documentation that you can read and here is the other link click here to see additional information in alert site if you click here it will take you to the alert site page that will show you the details on your monitors so you can see here it is showing me both of my monitors monitor 1 and monitor 2 that I just created and of course monitor 2 does not have any data as of now but in monitor 1 you can see so the very first thing is you will see this dashboard with your monitors in tiles and it will give you a very quick information on if there is anything wrong with any of your monitors and here you can see this is the monitor one and it is in error state if you click here it will give you the details of the error so you can see all the information here and then you have this button which is saying alerting enabled and then there is a settings button if you click here you can get additional details you can do some edit and changes in your monitor you also have this theme changer here so you can enable a night theme here which is a dark theme here and then at the top menu you have dashboard then you have monitors where you can see the summary runs availability performance you have groups SLAs errors so if you go to the errors it will only show you the errors so you can see the details here then we have charting so if you go here it can show you the charts about your monitors so you can see these monitors and then we have reports and then we have alerts so also we have alert recipients where you can create recipients as of now I have my email that I have used to sign in only available as recipients but you can create new recipients here let me go back to the dashboard and then there is a toolbar so here we have add new button that you can use to add new monitor group or view and then you have these buttons where you can do some edits test on demand compare monitors enable list you can have some filter options so status is here then you can click on items that should be shown on the dashboard and then you can select the frequency of these changes here last 12 hours last 24 hours and so on and then here is the settings where you can go to the settings usage settings and so on so let me go to monitors and go to summary so here you can see the summary of your monitor you can see the history last response times and other details if you say by location it will show you the performance history by location if you go a little down you have the run history here you have the description that you can click that you will take you to the details you have the runs here you can go to the runs description from here or you can go to summary and then go down and directly click on this description it will take you to the same page and here you can see the details of the runs and here also you can see the finer details about your network and about all the response times so you can see everything here so you can see the connect redirect first byte connect all these times here so this is very 
useful and handy when you want to troubleshoot about your APIs in case of any errors. You can create groups which I do not have as of now. You have the SLA summaries. If you only want to look at the errors you can go and and here you can go to that particular error and it will show you the details. So let me go back to the dashboard and you can see even my API monitor 2 has some errors and it is showing me the details here now. So let me go to my notes and write down the step number 4 as well here. So 4 is add APIs to monitor and view in alert site. So these are the 4 steps that you can use to monitor your APIs and of course with the free account you can monitor 3 APIs but you can always get a paid account in case of enterprise level projects and then add monitors to your APIs. So I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.